Hey guys, welcome back to our family's channel, The Happy Healthy Vegans. I'm Stephanie. I'm Mark. And uh, we're just gonna kind of touch base with uh, you guys cool. and uh, what we have been doing for the last month. We talked about last month, beginning of January, we talked about our goals and kind of things what we want to do and we're hopefully, hopefully we're, we were hoping to get some feedback from you guys, but unfortunately, you know, we're still a small little channel, so that's okay. I'm not worried, but It'll grow. yeah, uh, slowly just build it. And so today, I'm just we're just gonna kind of touch base on what we've been doing. I have been doing the OMAD, <clears throat> which is eating only one meal a day. Uh, it didn't work out the first two weekends of January, but last weekend and this weekend have been really good. So I've actually lost 10 pounds in total, which I feel very good about. 10 pounds is actually a pretty healthy weight for a female in a month. And uh, yeah, that made me happy. And another goal too that I had talked about was buying less processed food and eating less processed food, which I have been doing. Um, I've been making more of the food and eating a lot more. Now that I didn't eat much vegetables, but I'm making a point of adding way more to my lunches and uh, eating a fruit a day. And even on the weekends, I was finding I wasn't eating much vegetables. So I've been making a point the last couple of weekends of also making sure I get my vegetable intake as well. And I've only really been buying the processed foods, different snacks and stuff <coughs> for to do taste tests on YouTube. How have you been doing this month? I'm not bad. I did the fasting for the month. Uh, tomorrow I'll do my final weigh because it'll be the 1st of February. Mm -hmm. I started at 288. I'm down to, as of this morning, it was 249.2. So the video will be released on that hopefully within the next week, week and a half, depending on, there's a lot of content, so I just got to cut it down and don't know how to make four videos of it or it'll be one big video because, um, I think, I don't, I don't think we can put videos on more than 15 minutes. Yeah, minutes. we're restricted for some reason, yeah. but I think if you do like your first week and post that. And like at the end, and then build up, and you know, do the second week, then the third week, and then your final week yeah. for like the month of February. So like, I'm, your first I'm also week. doing videos for this month because now I'm transitioning, so I'm trying to maintain what I'm doing. So I don't want to just go back to the way I was doing. So I'm trying to monitor everything. So by videotaping and recording it, it's keeping me in check because I have to follow it, and I find that it's been working. Yeah, because the last week's been really really hard. Uh, I made it through. You did really good. I'm very proud of him. He's lost like 45 pounds or something and... 40 pounds. It's just, for, just shy of 40 pounds. I, I've lost more in the previous fast, but because I didn't come out of it properly, everything came back right on. So, or not everything came back on. I just gained 10 or 15 pounds. The Almost first week, like with so a week and... It's, and then the weekend and stuff like that. It's, so I'm going to try and change it and educate myself or teach myself what to properly eat, what not to properly eat, and yeah, well, go forward positive and maintain losing weight. And then looking at it probably possibly in May, uh, if I need to or if I want to, I'm going to do another fast for one month and hopefully that'll get me down closer to my goal weight. So that's, mm -hmm. uh, that's all I can do, right? Well, it's, it's hard to lose weight in general and we're junk food vegans, I fully admit that we are. and. We've cut back a lot on that junk food, yeah, but it's, it's I'm not cutting it out. I enjoy my junk food and I've just limiting our, ourselves and... It's the weekends that we just want to we are... go visit friends, we want to relax. Now with COVID going on, you can't really do that. Yeah. Uh, so we've mm -hmm. been busy filming or doing whatever we like. Our weekends are filled with pretty much filming and editing and... Yep. Yeah, doing yeah, really hauls and doing unboxings and all kinds of stuff. Grocery shopping. Grocery shopping. A lot of time grocery shopping. But something else we've been doing this month as well has been networking. Trying to. Yeah. Trying to get our name out there. I started... We're just trying to build up subscribers and, yeah, and, and well, build up relationships with the people that subscribe with us. Yes. And or I've to us. Done, we've done that with yeah. a few people. And, uh, I've also been posting more on Instagram, which is just Happy Healthy Vegans. Twitter for me. And then I good. also... Started Twitter, which is, I believe, also Happy Healthy Vegans, and I've only done that a few times. I am not used to the Twitter at all, so it's different to tweet. And I got excited today because when I tweeted my uh, Chicken Say 10 video I um, for today, which you guys, it'll be tomorrow. But anyways, 
it uh, got retweeted by somebody and I was pretty excited. It should be tomorrow. Well, well, the video will be out tomorrow, okay. right? I'm going to out tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. I was like, huh? <laughs> Yeah. And so we've been trying to like just kind of, you know, talk to people and get conversations started and uh, we've come across or you've come across, I have too, but these people we're going to talk about today is actually what who Mark's been talking to. We've been trying to start a video that showcases new YouTubers that are have a lot of potential to go forward and get stronger and we've worked with them or we've talked with them and uh, they're showing a lot of promise so we're just trying to, maybe you guys should check them out. So one of the people we kind of collaborated with and I did a video on, I did, I had made bagels and then I made potato wedges with them, but they were the um, everything, everything bagel potato wedges and that, we got that from uh, Candace, Candace from Eat Your Forking Vegetables. And, um, we'll try to put a link up. We'll put our link up. With the channel. The channel, yeah. And uh, so that was good. And it turned out really well. The potatoes were really good because I kind of made sure I didn't put too much and overwhelm and then get that salty, too saltiness. Mm -hmm. Now, not all these YouTubers are vegan. Like some of them, the majority of them will be, but uh, we will be showcasing other yes. YouTubers because it's not only about the, like, the vegan segment. We want to showcase everybody. Yeah. Whether it's car related or it's... Uh, yes. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. I think these people we're talking about today are all vegan, though, right? Uh, three of them are. Well, no, four. Yeah, all yeah they're four. all. So the ones we are today are for, are vegan. Yeah. Yes. So the second one we're talk is talking about is dolled up desserts, and they're actually local to Hamilton. They're on James, James Street. Street. Yep. And uh, they're so good. I've had we've gone there way too many times. They make a soft serve vegan ice cream that blows any ice cream out of the water, especially soft serve. Oh my god, like it is amazing. Yeah, that's really, really It's good. like a chocolate vanilla, like swirl she does. She can do chocolate or just vanilla, but she, I always get it swirled. And she uses oat milk. Um, she uses the oat milk, coconut, coconut milk, and almond milk in it. Oh my god, like you wouldn't think it would be so good, but it is amazing. Yeah. And she makes other pastries, and some of them. Some of them are good. Some, some of them are, are not so good. Yes, it depends on I guess the batch or maybe. Or your taste buds. Taste buds, yeah. Right, but definitely if you're in the Hamilton area and you watch, if you get a chance, go up to Dolled Up Desserts and get the ice cream. She, she also has a channel on YouTube. She, yes. She dabbles with. Uh, infusing. infusing and stuff like that so if you're, that's your thing or you like that or you're interested in that check that out she has a few things especially with the vegan re uh, recipes yeah and we'll uh, put her link yeah, we'll in the put description her link as in the well description below. Uh, Anita Bell I'm trying to remember which one Anita Bell was why don't you look it up Lauren is the, the so she's a nutritionist okay the, right? and she's talking about juicing and stuff like that so that's what Oh, so you he so you found her because she reached out because she knew that I was uh, fasting. Okay. And she was asking if there was any questions and whatnot, oh. and I put that. There she's, she's got an interesting. Yeah, I've, she, we've watched her quite a few times. She actually got a lot of information that she talks about as a. She's knowledgeable being, with what. The, being vegan yes. and your nutrition and what you can do with your body and juicing and stuff like that. It's, Talks about a lot of stuff, actually. Yeah, well, she's uh, really good. And then Anita Bell. Okay, so Anita Bell is, she's she speaks English. It's a broken English. Oh, she, her YouTube channel is called Anita Bell. Yeah, so it is her her YouTube channel, and. Uh, so she also does unboxing. Unboxing. She she's the one that we watched with the air fryer, and she did a couple. Oh, and that she's was trying really, really hard. She's doing it well. Yeah, uh, can't, she can't doesn't have very that. many subscribers as well. No, she's got more than what we do. Yeah, a little bit more, a little more videos than we do too. But yeah. that's everybody's different. Oh yeah, yeah. well obviously at different stages, yeah. but really well actually. She the unboxing of the air fryer was nice. I like to watch that because I'm, I still have not got an air fryer. I am on the fence of buying a. I want an, an oven that does it because we're gonna do the kitchen renovation shortly, hopefully. And. Okay, yes, I thought of that as well, but I also like, I don't want it to buy the air fryer itself. I like the, it's like, what, the like toaster, toaster oven? Like a Corsari. The, yeah, Corsari. Corsari, it's Corsari has, and Cuisinart has one. There's, There's a, a few. few. 
but I like that idea because we don't have a microwave or a toaster. We have a toaster oven, not a, one of those pop-up toasters because that's you can only toast toast in those. And we don't have a microwave. So our toaster or our toaster oven is used for heating up our food, making like my son will make a Beyond Burger in there or put chicken fingers in there. It's actually very convenient for the kids to be able to make stuff and not have to worry about turning the oven on, which gives me peace of mind throughout the day when I'm at work and they're here yeah, doing they're here their thing. They're schooling from home. Right? Yeah. So I much prefer the toaster oven and if I can get the Corsini or Corsari. 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 Yeah, we're looking at it, we'll figure it out. And I haven't decided. Yep. So we're gonna put little pictures up for if each name we said and we'll add their YouTube channels to the in the description along. You can do that in the, in the blah, 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 description box below. What's your goals this for this one though? You got any goals? Um, yes. I'm going to continue with my weight loss journey. Oh my you gonna more record it and talk about it or it's um, not, that, that's it's not, not really my style. I if don't you guys want to know more or you put a comment in the link below. Maybe you'll entice her to do it, maybe it'll keep her on track, it'll help her. Yeah, she, she I don't know about it. vlogging or doing it every day because I know what you mean, but keep me on track. But Monday to Friday, I'm good. Like, Mark's at work. He doesn't get home till 11. I'm not hungry. Like, I literally take enough food. I make sure I have apple, um, granola bar. My lunch has got lots of vegetables and um, carb. And I'll even take, like, a little snack of some sort, like maybe a party mix that I made or something, if in case I'm still hungry. And I am usually full by time I get home and don't actually feel the need to eat. So it's just weekends. That's hard. Yeah, it has been hard. Yeah, it's a challenge. Well, it can be a challenge and it's always been like- And the last two weekends have been done really good. So I don't want to ruin that. No, I want to stick to it. No. no. No, I'm just saying like if you put it and maybe they, they'd be interested in it. I don't know, right? Cause like some people would do well with it. Um, it's kind of also hard for me. I can't really record every day what I eat so because I'm at work. I work in <laughs> I work in childcare, and I eat with the kids, so I can't actually. No, but you don't have to do it like that. You can just record everything record, I eat. Record when you get home and just say how your day was and whatnot. And yeah, maybe. And give your aspect. And then talk about what I ate and stuff. Whatever. I maybe we'll see. I don't know. Yeah, it's just it's one of those things that you can factor in and figure out, right? Yeah. So, uh, what are your goals? My goals is trying to help the channel get better, right? Well, Pick it obviously. Up. I'm sticking with my goals, so I'm coming out of the fast, gonna make and do the maintenance. So this week you're doing soup and juice. Yeah, soup and juice this week. And then and next, next week, week I'll start eating more. No, no more juice though. You're gonna no, do like salads. Cut, yeah, I'll probably cut out the juice next week, and then I'll do salads, and I'll do half starch, half vegetables on the plate. Yeah. And then. Uh, yeah, so we'll go from there. All right, right. and then uh, hopefully the, the content is getting better for everybody that's watching, and the improvement of the quality is going to get better hopefully within the next two to three weeks. Yeah, we're hoping to yeah, we're, purchase. Well, we're, we're looking at some hardware so we can get better Stuff quality. Stuff and yeah. pick up the quality. And let me know about the unboxings and stuff. Do you guys like it? Do you like the food hauls, taste testing? Because yeah, I there. like doing it. You feel like you're overwhelmed. With but I also it. feel like I'm putting a lot of it on YouTube and people are like, eh, this is boring. I don't want to watch it. Yeah, it could be. And But like, let me know. I would love to know. I'd love to hear from you guys. Yeah. Is that it? I think that's it. All I'm right. Pretty good. So, everybody, Bye. have a good night. Enjoy. Well, <laughs> I was going to say enjoy your week, but... If you're watching this a year from now, then I guess it's enjoy. <laughs> See you later. Bye.